we all remember going back to school. Some of us loved it, some of us didn't, but we all have that memory etched in our head forever. So, we're going to go back here and look at the old days of going back to school. A lot of people remember. Yes, our kids and grandkids go to the modern schools, and they are beautiful schools, and they are nice. But, let's look at their fathers. I remember going to school. You know, just anticipating who your teachers is going to be. Are you going to be in the class with your same friends? It, are you going to like it? Are you not going to like it? And we all have that memory. Biggest memory I have is mom would always make sure I had a couple of blue jeans for school, brand new. And these things, you could stand them up in a corner if you didn't wash them good enough. And they would feel like sandpaper rubbing. And that smell, I can always remember that smell. Now we'll go back to the rural areas, back to our grandfathers. Back in the day when they really had a rough time living out in these rural areas and these farms. And we'll look at how they went to school and their memory. Now back in the day, a lot of little schools and communities looked like this. Just little one-room schoolhouses. Some of them were nicer than others, according on the community, at what the size of it was. Nice little schools. And some of them in these mining camps looked like this. Wasn't much to it, but they tried to teach the children. And they, they had places like this. Some of them looked just like barns. Didn't look like a school at all. But the kids enjoyed it. They, they was learning every day, and they had a good time. And a lot of these little schools didn't have indoor plumbing, no water. So they, the kids would take turns fetching water up from the spring or the well up to the, up to the school. And they didn't have no indoor bathrooms. They usually had an outhouse out back, his and hers. Now the bigger schools did, they had indoor plumbing and they had indoor bathrooms, which they all would eventually, but this is back in the early days of our grandfathers. Now it didn't matter where you come from, small town, small community, it didn't matter in these Appalachian Mountains. All up and down these mountains it was like this. You come from a mining camp, all up and down these mining communities, all up and down these mountains, people lived hard in them days. Or you lived on a farm in the rural areas. People raised big families on these farms. This was their livelihood, and they worked hard at it. Now, like I said, it didn't matter if you come from your parents was coal miners, worked in the underground, worked on the temples, anything around the mining industry. And a lot of your parents worked on the railroads. They run these trains, hauling this coal out of these mountains, work keeping the railroad lines up all through these Appalachian Mountains. And a lot of people log too. A lot of fathers and grandfathers done a lot of logging. I know mine did. And a lot of them in these little cities and communities, they had textile mills and little factories. A lot of people worked hard in these all their life. And farming, all these rural farming communities, this is their livelihood. That was a breadbasket for the community. And all throughout the country, this is their living. Now, I remember going to school. You'd always get in here and mom would try to do their best to get you some clothes. And that kid, my grandfather, it was, this was the thing of the day, coveralls, bibbed overalls. Now, I'd always go to John's store here growing up, get me, mom would get me some blue jeans, a couple of button-up shirts, and I'd always save up 
to where I could get me a pair, a pair of Converse tennis shoes. I loved them. Uh, like I said, out in these rural areas, people had big families back in them days. 10 or 12 kids was not uncommon at all. And a lot of them learned to wear hand-me-downs. Mom would work herself to death trying to keep shoes on the feet and dad working all he can. Now, back when I went to school, the school buses were just in starting. And you'd, we'd, we'd ride school buses all throughout the communities, even up in these mining camps. Now, back in the back, my father's, they mostly walked to school because they was a school community, a school for that community real close. And they'd walk to and from school all the time. I used to get tickled talking at my elders. I'd say, boy, you got it made. You, you know, we used to walk to school uphill both ways in the snow. And I'd make a big joke about it. And they, They'd get mad at me because I was laughing at them, but that's what they used to tell me. And when I got in school, there wasn't no kindergarten or head start. It was just first grade. And you was, you was scared. You didn't know what to expect, what to do, and who your friends was. And so you just lived and learned. And some of the old schools I can remember when I was growing up, we'd say the Pledge of Allegiance every morning and the Lord's Prayer. That was a ritual every morning. I even say a Bible verse. And you, you know, you just, you live and learn this old school and you just, you, you, you don't like it, but you get used to it because you know it's not going to change. And there's always recess. I always loved that. I, I'd try to play marbles. I'd lose every marble I had. I'd quit playing that. And at lunchtime, the little schools didn't have a cafeteria. You just brought your lunch in a brown paper bag and you eat in the classroom. I remember that. And on pretty days, you got to eat outside every once in a while. And the boys always try to show out in front of the girls. One thing led to another. Well, back in class, you try to learn, try to figure out something. You get frustrated, or when, when's this going to end? I'm ready to go to the house. And Mom usually come down with the little ones, and they'd meet you at the end of the walk or down at the end of the road and walk you on home. I remember them memories. And after you got home, it got your chores a little bit, you'd hit these fields wide open, running and playing. I miss them days. And like I said, you always had chores to do around the farm, if you, especially if you lived around the farm. There's always chores to do before you done anything else. And yes, they had homework back then, just like we, they do nowadays, you know. I never was keen on it, but I had to do it too. So they did have homework. And school would let out, excuse the kids sometimes, for on these farms, especially when it was planting season, tobacco, stuff like that. And especially when it come harvest time, bringing in the fields, they would excuse the kids just get out here and help bring in the, the crops. Even on days when they had to cut hay, they would excuse kids, I can remember that. Give them a day, two days off, just to help around the farm. And I remember in school, the teacher made all the difference. Some of these teachers, they put their heart into helping you. And some of them was just there for a paycheck, if you know exactly what I'm talking about. And your little ones at home, your little brothers and sisters, they couldn't wait till they go to school. They'd play around the house all day waiting for you to come home. And in the off season, some places had libraries. They'd go around and uh, distribute books out for people to read. 
That really helped the kids. They really loved that. And mom and dad, they would try to teach you all they could and help you with your schoolwork. Some of it was just too advanced for them. I know, I know it was for my kids. It just gets too advanced. You don't even know what they're, what they're doing anymore. But a lot of kids went through these old little rural schools. This is a mining camp school. A lot of kids moved on. They've got kids and grandkids and great grandkids. So now our kids and great grandkids go to the good schools, the big new fancy schools. They're nice. And I hope they're learning something to pass it on down. It didn't matter what size school you went to, big school, small school, country school, city school, schools were schools. But I can remember them days, and I know you can too. It's just fond memories that'll never go away. So I want to thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you next time.